far away. We talked about Mary that she's beautiful. Right, cool. so. What's your name? Mitch. Um, since I was like five or something, um, my dad's been an alcoholic and has been smoking. Uh, since then, it's have had a lot of doom on my mind. Because he hasn't spent a lot of time with me. And he just, like, like some kids have had a good childhood with their dad. Like, they've played like, football with him and all that, but I, I don't see him. Yeah. So it's really, it, it really hurts because he, he should, he should spend more time with me because he, because, like, like, I'm a guy, so he should, like, play something or, like, spend some time. Yeah, spend some time, like, one-on-one -on -one action and all that, and I don't get that. Yeah. So, yeah. So you'd really like to have sort of like a dad show interest in you. Yeah. That's the feeling. Yeah. So how does it feel not with him not showing interest in you? You feel really sad. Do oh. sometimes you get depressed and down about yeah. it? Or, yeah. Yeah. And and what do you feel when you with when you with mum then too? What's the feeling you have then? Um, I feel she's had to live with that as well. Yeah. Sort of live you with you being sort of upset about what's going on. Yeah. 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 So, so, um, so how, how old are you? Like 13. 13, yeah. So, um, what do you feel you can do about it? I suppose that's the, that's the question, isn't it? Have you given that any thought at all? I could process my emotions and just cry about it. Yep, so that's one thing you can do. One thing though is you really, really would like a male a male person to spend time with, wouldn't you? Yeah. Is that what you like? Yeah. So have you thought about, there's a thing called the law of attraction, you heard a bit about that? Yeah. Before? And so if you exercise a really strong desire to have a, man, a male spend some time with you in your life, and you just allow yourself to pray to God about that, about, so your dad's not doing it, yeah. and you don't know whether your dad's ever going to do it, right? Yeah. And you're pretty sad about that, so it would be a good idea to have a cry about that. Yeah. But then after you've had a cry about that, have a desire for some other fella to come along and actually spend some time with you. Do you follow me? Yeah. Do you think, like, yeah. you know, like someone who can do some things you like, what are the kinds of things you like to me? Yeah. So what kind what of things do you like? Oh, you oh. um, uh, I like... Oh. Or, or like, mucking around. Yeah. 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 Do you um, live down in, near the beach? you live in the Sunshine Coast or Brisbane? Yeah. Yeah, Sunshine Coast? Yeah. Do you like the beach and stuff like that? Yeah. 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 Someone could teach me surf. Yeah? Yeah. So that'd be cool? Yeah. Okay, so so what you can do is exercise your all on that. Let yourself feel a desire. And what will happen is the law of attraction will bring you somebody who will actually fulfill that role for you. Does that make sense? Yeah. You can do that. And so that's one really positive thing you can do to actually have a person. See, at the moment, there's two, so there's two things you can do. One is grieve the fact that you've lost a dad, really, that dad is yeah. not with you. But the next thing is exercise a desire that you actually have someone replacing for you. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that's going to mean working through some emotions that you've got. And okay. it's also probably going to mean mum needs to work through some emotions about dad not spending time with you too. Yeah. So you know, we can talk to mum separately about that. Okay. But it, there are the two things you can do. And things can change really rapidly when you do that. Yeah. I've seen people who are 13 years old changing their life in one week just by doing some things like that. Yeah. So when you're young, it's really powerful. Yeah. So do you reckon you've got some ideas for now? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Now, where's your mum? Is she here? Yeah. You want to come up, mum? <laughs> come on, he's been brave, so now it's your turn to be brave. <laughs> you get a sticker. <laughs> you get a sticker, yeah. Now, you know this is related to your relationship with your father. 
here as well. One of the reasons why Mitch hasn't attracted another man into his life right at the moment in order to fulfill this feeling or need that he has is because of some of the emotions you have towards men, which are to do with grieving about your relationship with your dad. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if you allow yourself, if you allow yourself to grieve about some of these things about men in your life, what will happen is it will help Mitch greatly to actually use his law of attraction to have a guy in his life that wants to do some things with him that are fun. Yeah. So, so as you said, that'll make Mitch free to feel his sadness about his dad. And once he's through some of that sadness, then his law of attraction will get you know, much more powerful. Thank you.